What's up, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of the sit down. As always, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you hit the like button and let me know what you think of today's very interesting discussion in the comment section below. If you're new around here, you just haven't done it yet, or living on a rock and see it for the first time, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button below now so you never miss another sit down video. I also urge you to go check out our friends at Pravada Cigar Club dot com we've got some big news in the works and as many of you know we are soon to be releasing our own personalized sit down cigar just in time for the holidays information will be out soon on where you can purchase i hope you check it out provide a cigar club dot com what's up everybody we're back with another breaking news live video and the news has come fast and furious in the world of the american mafia these are good times for people like me because my goal is to provide you with the best in organized crime content. And today we are talking about an absolutely groundbreaking decision by the U.S. Parole Commission, a group that doesn't have much sway in federal court cases much more. As of this week, serial killer Anthony Center will be released from federal prison custody. How exactly is this possible? What exactly has Anthony Center done? And why is the parole commission all of a sudden care about it? I'm going to tell you why I think next. And why some of this, I believe, could have something to do with what we saw yesterday. You don't just get out of prison after killing 50 probably people in your life. This doesn't happen. That just doesn't happen. And I'm going to talk more about all that in just a second. Already 125 people in here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy what we're doing. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, I want to get into saying hello to some people, and then we'll get right into the discussion today. Grambino, straight off the top, $5. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for watching. Tim Good, what's going on? Michael Marcello, Great Jedi, Denver. Irish Coffee, Edward Everett, Ross Walden, Toyota, Uncle Paul, Taliano, Ben Allmark, Jay Bart. What's good? What's good? Uh, Sonny Grasso, $10. Thank you, Sonny uh, Grasso. Ciao, Fratello. What's up, my brother? How are you? Good to uh, good to see you. Um, all right. Um, let me get into what's going on here. So as of this week, Anthony Center is going to get out of prison. Now, keep in mind, Anthony Center has been in prison since the late 80s. So essentially 35 years. I was born in 1989, and Anthony Center was in prison by the time I was born. Think about that. It's a long time, a long time behind the wall. Consider this. Anthony Center was allegedly killing people in his early 20s. He's now 68 years old. He has spent his entire adult life, for the most part, in federal prison. We have heard from people that have showed up, particularly one of which was on this channel. We've heard Robert Rosso way back discuss that when he was in prison, he was around not only Center, but Joey Testa, and that he said what a lot of people have said about Mr. Center. He was a model prisoner. And that's one of the notions behind how I think is led to Anthony Center to get released from prison. However, however. Understand this. If you are convicted of not one, not two, not five, but 10 murders, and I'm going to explain to you today all the murders that their belief is that Anthony Santa was involved in, and it was way more than 10. It just was. He was given life plus 20 years. The government just doesn't come to people like that and say, hey, you've been good for 30 years. We're going to let you out. Even though you have a life plus 20 years, when you get that four-letter word, life, it means life. You are thrown away, and that's that. And other than a technicality or you doing something, you're not getting out. And I ask you this. Look at all the lifers in the mafia currently or have recently passed. Peter Gotti. Frankie Loke, Bobby Manna, Anthony or uh, Victor Amuso, Victor Arena, Henry Borelli, 
his partner, Joseph Testa, his twin. And he's all of a sudden getting out and he's the only one. Come on, man. And all of a sudden they're just digging in upstate New York. I'm not saying that's true, but I have some questions about this. This just pops up out of nowhere. Let's go over what exactly Anthony Center did and let's talk about it. The first murder, it was said that Anthony Center participated in was the murder of a person called Andre Katz. He then followed it up and was said to be involved with the murder of Joe Bikini, uh, Joe Burkini, uh, who was uh, a Lucchese gangster. He was said to be involved with that. In fact, in the Joe Bikini hit, it was said that he restrained Mr. Burkini while DeMeo and Henry Borelli shot him. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down each murder that Mr. Center was involved in, and you can understand the level of depravity that this person engaged in. Keep in mind, it was also said that Mr. Center was involved in the murder of big-time Irish gangster Mickey Spillane. Now, we know that the mafia did that as a favor to Westies boss Jimmy Coonan so Jimmy Coonan could take over the Westies. Keep in mind, also involved in that hit were Roy DeMeo, Joey Testa, Chris Rosenberg, and Henry Borelli. Now, the Gemini twins would then take part in the murder of a person called Jerome Hofaker. Now, Mr. Hofaker was killed in June of 1977, and he was shot to death in Canarsie, Brooklyn, after he got into an altercation with a person called Dennis Testa, who was related to Joey Testa. 22-year-olds killed Mr. Hofaker. About a month later, this is one of the more depraved murders committed by Mr. Center. According to authorities, Mr. Center, alongside Joey Testa, Borelli, DeMeo, and other members of the DeMeo crew, killed a man called Jonathan Quinn and his 19-year-old innocent girlfriend called Sherry Golden. They were shot and left in a car. And the reason Mr. Quinn was killed is because it said that he testified before a grand jury. So they took out two people there. They then, down the road, in May of 1978, were said to be involved in the murder of a man called Michael DiCarlo. Now, I've talked before, this is the one just murder that the DeMeo crew was involved in. Michael DiCarlo, it was said, uh, committed the R word against a little child. Now, that was the rumor. Michael DiCarlo was a scumbag, and he deserved the death that he was given. But I'm bringing up every murder these individuals were involved in. Now, Mr. DiCarlo was killed from blunt force trauma to the head. He was then demembered. The next murder these people would take part in in Anthony Center was the murder of a man called Danny Grillo. That would happen in November of 1978. It was said that Mr. Grillo fell into heavy debt with the DeMeo crew, and they believed that he would possibly cooperate against them. So alongside Rosenberg, Testa, and DeMeo, Mr. Grillo was shot. Now, I want to get into more. I'm going to go over every one because I want you to understand the, the kind of capabilities that this individual had. Now, in February of 1979, it was said that alongside other members of the Mayo crew, Mr. Center was involved in the murder of 60-year-old Fred Todaro. Now, Fred Todaro was a contract killing that the group had been given after he was involved with a property involving another family. Now, this murder, a quadruple murder, understand that a quadruple murder involving two identified individuals and two men named William Serrano and Charles Padnick, they were all murdered by Center and the DeMeo crew over a cocaine ripoff. Now, then a man named Jamie Padnick was killed a day later after Mr. Padnick, who is not from New York, went to New York to investigate his father, Charles Padnick, for being killed. The Mayo crew got wind of this and murdered Mr. Padnick. So that's essentially five people were killed in one, in one situation. All of the people were murdered by Sentner and the crew. Sentner was then involved in May of 1979 
in the murder of Chris Rosenberg. And we know why Chris was killed after he ripped off uh, Cuban cocaine dealers and they wanted to send a message. Now, it was said the shooter in that case was center himself of Rosenberg. We then would go to October of 1979. Anthony Center, alongside DeMeo, Borelli, Vito Arena, and Freddie DeNome and Testa, would kill a man named Khalid Dawood. Now, Mr. Dawood was said to be an Arab auto theft operator who was involved with the group in selling cars and sending them over to Kuwait and other Middle Eastern countries. It was said that he was shot to death and his body was demembered. Now, also present on that day was a man named Ronald Faccaro. Faccaro was also present with Dawood and shot to death with the group. One other murder, a person called Charles Mangiatour. And Mr. Mangiatour refused to drop assault charges against a Gambino made member's son. He was then asked to be killed. And um, what the hell's going on here? Sorry, guys. Uh, Mangiatour was killed in June of 1980. Someone was with him that day, a man named Daniel Scataro. He was killed as, you know, collateral damage because they worried he would witness. There's two more people. It was then said the final murder that Mr. Center would take part in with the DeMeo crew, or one of the final murders, was of Roy DeMeo himself. As we know, Roy DeMay was killed and found January 10th, 1983, in his car in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn. Now, there are certain murders that we believe Center was involved in after that. Probably he was involved in the murder of Richard Denome. It was said he was likely involved in the murder of a person called John Beta, who was with Denome that day. It's also said... He was likely involved with killing Fred Sidon as well, who was with Denome as well. So that's another triple murder they were likely involved in. Now, as we know, once DeMeo is killed, Nino Gaggi goes away and dies in prison, the Gemini twins are without a home. They're associates of the Gambino crime family, but they're not made members. So obviously, Center and his boy Testa want to become uh, made members. And guess who's there waiting for them? Another depraved lunatic, Anthony Casso. So Anthony Casso says to the boys, hey, you come do work for me, we'll make you made members of the mafia. And in 1988, alongside Joey Testa, Anthony Center is initiated into the Lucchese crime family in a ceremony in Canarsie held by Vic Amuso, Anthony Casso, Bobby Amuso, and little Al Diarco. They then, Testa and Mr. Uh, Center, would take part in murders on behalf of Mr. Casso. In June of 1986, Mr. Casso would tell them to kill a person called Vladimir Reznikov. He would be shot in Brighton Beach seven times with a 380. As we know, Reznikov was a lunatic in his own right, and he was involved in certain disrespects of Casso and the gas tax scheme. Now, as we know, in that case, it's likely that Center was a shooter and also the driver. Now, another person they would kill is a man called Carmine Variale in 1987. He was a reputed made member of the Lucchese crime family, and he was shot in the chest, back, shoulder, and head on Bath Beach in Brooklyn. It was said that Center and Testa positioned as backup shooters, and another man called Frank Smith killed Variale. So there's another murder they were involved in. One of the final murders they would commit is of a man called Frank Santora. He would be killed alongside Mr. Variale. Again, Testa and Center are backup shooters in that case. What's the common theme here? They killed a lot of people. In fact, Mr. Center killed a lot of people. And it's likely that he didn't just kill a few people. It's probable that Mr. Center killed 50 people. And if not 50, and if it's 20, does it doesn't matter. He killed a lot of people. He's a depraved killer. And life should, in his case, mean life. 
All I'm trying to get you to understand is, let me ask you this. Would you want Mr. Center living next to you? I mean, we have to have some sort of ethics in this country, don't we? And this is where I have major questions as to how Mr. Center is getting out of prison. This is happening. He will be released by Christmas. He will probably be released in the next week or two because his release date from the halfway house is in June, and you got to do six months in a halfway. Now, I know Mr. Center is approaching his 70th birthday, and I'm sure he has tons of stories, one of which he's probably not going to share on YouTube. However, we have to ask ourselves some hard questions as to what exactly Mr. Center did to warrant being released from federal prison. And then if I'm a lawyer of someone like Vic Arena or Bobby Manna or Joey Testa, I'm going to ask myself, why did he get let out? And why can't we get let out? Understand, guys, Frank Lucasio was present in a room when John Gotti said someone needs to be killed. And because he didn't respond and say, you shouldn't do that, he was given a life sentence to die in prison. He didn't even kill anyone. And he died in federal prison. But this guy, who's killed dozens of people, is all of a sudden sprung from federal prison. Come on, man. It just don't happen. Let's see what you think. We've got uh, almost 450 people in here. Hope you're enjoying uh, the show. Uh, I'm I'm behind in the comments. I kind of negated them. Let me get back here. Um, what's up, Jared O'Neill? Uh, the Gemini twin should easily be able to get jobs at the local butcher shop. That's a good point, uh, Florida attorney. Good point. In fact, they'd probably be pretty good at that. Um, I, I would agree. And by the way, remember, remember, it wasn't just mobsters these people were killing. They were killing innocent sons of these people, women. And they were not just shooting them and walking away. No, they were taking them into a lair, if you will, and demembering them. They were using knives and axes. It's like cartel stuff. The only difference between the cartels are they do these things on camera. These guys were doing it in a shoddy apartment in the back of a bar. Pretty amazing that they let Anthony out, but Bobby Matt is sitting there from 92 to 93 and never pulled a trigger. Please explain. Did Anthony cooperate? If so, he might not make it out. Here's the thing, though. Let's say he did give some information. Who gives a shit? Do you really think anybody's going to do anything to him? John A. Light walks the street. All these guys walk the street. The mob is not going to do anything to them. This is, though, interesting because I ask myself, ask yourself this. What murder have committed that the government would be digging around up in upstate New York? All of a sudden, he's getting out. Could he be connected to this? Yeah, I'll tell you some things. I'll give you some closure to some innocent people. I'm not talking about no mob guys, but here's what I'll do. I'll give you some closure on some innocent people. If it's just one or two, the government will say, that's cool. Give us some closure. Let's give us some family some closure. Maybe he knows where Jimmy Hoffa is. I'm just saying, they don't just spring you out for nothing. Aldo, 10 euros. Thank you, Aldo. Thank you for watching, man. Thank you for the kind words, my brother. Uh, thank you to everybody that's here. Uh, what's up, BX? I'm way behind in the comments, guys. I'll get to you here. Uh, what's up, Mustache Pete? How you doing? He ain't getting a compassion release, man. You got to you got you got to be you got to have a little bit of uh, I'm not saying you're dumb, but you have to have a little bit of thought here, man. Um what's up, Tim Bell? It doesn't matter if he's reformed. There's a lot of people that are reformed. You don't think Bobby Mann is reformed? None of these people have committed murders. They're in jail for conspiracy to commit murder. This guy has willingly murdered people and chopped them up. He's the worst of the worst. When you get life, guys, it means life. You die there. When you go in and they give you a four-letter word, that's what it means. The only way you're leaving there is rolled out in a pine box. That's it. 
Life means life. And I know everybody knows this. This is what's so crazy about this. Zero says ratting after all he sacrificed seems crazy. Um, does it? Burton Kaplan did it. Burton Kaplan said at one point he hated informants. He would never do it. But guess what? He got old. When you get old, being in federal prison ain't where you want to be. And guess what Burton Kaplan did? He cooperated. I think what Anthony Center might be saying is, what am I doing here? I'm way different. From what I understand, he's very close to people inside. He's helps and he helps COs. He's a model prisoner. He wants to live the last 10, 20 years of his life free. I have no issue with it. Good for him. He should. The fact that he's wasted this amount of time in jail is crazy to me. Now, there are people in here that will belittle people for that. He wants to get some back. Understand he's been in prison since he was in his mid-20s. It's no life. And I agree, he's probably a significantly different man. So explain, Zero, how is he getting out? Well, they just pick him out of a hat and say, oh, we hate the mafia, but we're going to let him out. The worst of all of these people. Come on, man, you're smarter than that. Imagine doing 30 years and then getting out. Dude never saw an iPhone. The world has changed so much. Yeah, it has. And that's what's so amazing about it, man. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Uh, Ruby, what's going on? How are you? Nice to see you tonight. Oh, look who it is. Anthony Casso is here. What do you have to say about this, Anthony? It's your old buddy. I saw it, uh, Aldo. Thank you. Uh, Isabella Palazzotto says, I'm using my niece's phone to tell you this comment. Anthony Center done 35 years in prison. And I heard he was a model prisoner. Maybe you think that's why he's getting out under old law. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> you're calling me a dumb, dumb, and you're saying Anthony Center done 35 years in prison. You don't seem to want to hear the truth here. So again, okay, congrats. I guess you're a family member of his. Wish you the best. Wish you the best with that. But that's not how the law works, man. It doesn't matter if you're a model prisoner. There's a lot of really nice people in prison that have been there for 50, 60 years. But just because they're nice in prison doesn't mean they're going to get let out. Go to the highest security prisons in this country and see how many nice people there are. There are plenty of old people there. But just because they sweep the floors and are nice to people, that doesn't mean they're going to let out into society. I don't know your name, man, but I, I'm guessing you, you don't seem to. I don't know. I don't know if there's any reasoning with you. So, okay. Good luck. Uh, David Lopez. Yes, it is. It's very uh, crazy. Uh, Daryl Peoples. What's going on? Something tells me we won't be hearing anybody calling Testa or Santa rats. People will be too scared. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Thank you for watching, my man. So again, I'll ask you all a question. How is he getting out? What is the reasoning for it? What's the reasoning for it? Center doesn't sound Italian to me. It absolutely is. He's from Italy. Absolutely. Not every name ends in a vowel. Yeah, it, it guys, again, it, it, you're right, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. He ain't gonna come on here. What's up, Oreo? What's going on? Jeff loves the word depraved. What else should I say? It's just the point. That's what these people are. Craig Tracy, $10 Canadian. Thank you, Craig Tracy. I appreciate your uh, donation today. 535 people in here. Thank you for watching. Please do me a favor. Hit that like button. If you have something to say, feel free to leave a comment in the chat box. If you'd like to donate to the channel further, feel free to send in a super chat. You can also 
Send me a cash app. There's my cash app if anybody would like to donate. Hello from beautiful British Columbia. Thank you, my man. Same to you. Um, oh, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Compassionate release. I missed that. I, I didn't see that in the uh, – I didn't see that in the uh, court report. Is that you just making that up? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. That's actually untrue. He's not getting out on compassionate release. The U.S. Parole Commission, who is really no longer even in business, decided that they were going to intervene here. Do you think they just decided, oh, it's Thanksgiving. We're going to let a guy out who's killed dozens of people. Just because we feel like it. The government don't work like that, man. Instead of, you should listen to this because it's important to understand. There's a lot of people here that are so misinformed about how this government works. They don't do that sort of thing. And I'll ask you, see, Brandon, if let's say that were true, he was getting on a compassionate release. What precedent does this set to any other person that was in the mafia that did far less than him and won't ever get out? Frankie Loke and Peter Gotti died in federal prison custody. They didn't do anything that Mr. Center did. Guys, listen and understand this. Anthony Center is regarded in the crew that is the most lethal hit crew of all time, and it's not close. These guys killed hundreds of people. Hundreds. Good point. Good point. Actually, this is not because he's a good boy and he gets to come out. And if he was, and if that's true, why isn't Testa and Borelli getting out? So this is this is not true. This is stone cold not true. See, Brandon, you're making that up. Vinny Boombach, my man. What's up, my brother? Thank you so much. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, I, I, I said I did. Thank you. Thank you for watching, my man. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I said that earlier. I said that earlier. It seems interesting, isn't it? Medical release, really? They don't care. The government doesn't care if you're sick. If you kill people and get life, you're thrown in a fucking box and chained to a bed. That's what happens. They don't give a shit about you. What do you think? Because you get cancer in prison, they're going to say, oh, you know what? You were a nice guy recently. We're going to give you a great chemotherapy treatment. No, no. It's going to rot you away. They don't care about you. And I'll tell you again, they don't care about him. Anthony Center. Uh, good afternoon. What's up, Robert Jamie? How you doing? Two dollars. Corruption connection. Thank you for watching. Uh, the government love making deals with devils. Uh, yeah, good point. Good point. Thank you for the two dollars, my friend. Exactly, Jay Bart. Exactly. Right. That's true. He got life plus twenty. So the government said, "We hate you so much. Do you actually have to die and do another twenty years while you're dead, and then you can get out if you make it past that?" Like, it's so redundant and ridiculous. It's crazy. Listen, let's say Mr. Center, except like Vito Guzzo, accepted 38 years. Tommy Reynolds, same thing. They didn't go to trial, plea. They're getting out. That's the choice they made. Mr. Center didn't do that. I, I don't agree with freeing Vicamusa. Vicamusa is another lunatic. He should die in prison as well. Uh, thank you, Aldo. Thank you. Yeah, Aldo, uh, thank you. I got it, brother. I got you. I'm behind in the chat, man. That's why I haven't acknowledged you yet. Um, Tester and Santa ate pizza while blanking up bodies. They're twisted serial killer. Exactly. Exactly. That's a wild story. Now, I will always say this, and I mean this. I think Center, Patera, all these people, I think they looked at their job as a job. There's a difference between Mr. Testa and Center and Kuklinski or Bundy or Dahmer or anybody from history. 
I have a certain level of thought that people that are engaged in organized crime behavior and they're asked to kill someone and that's their job. Like, for instance, I don't believe most people that are in the mafia. I don't believe they're sickening, sadistic, sexual, deviant. I, I don't believe that. I think most of these people are asked to do a job and they treat it like a job. Like to Patera. Patera was told to kill people and he did it. Do I think he was an incredibly evil person that you cannot have a discussion with and, and he would just look you through and kill you on site? No, I don't. And that's the really interesting discussion about these people because there are two types of evil people. There are people like mafia killers who their job is to kill people that fuck with the family. And then there are people that just get their rocks off by killing people like, like Kuklinski. Kuklinski j enjoyed jabbing people with needles and stuff. Like he was a weird dude. Gacy, people like that. They get off on killing people. Now, Kuklinski will try to tell you that he was more like Center and Testa, but he wasn't. Kuklinski enjoyed killing people. Like he got off on watching them die. You can see how he talks. He like laughs about it. It's weird. Like he tells that story. Like, I don't want to tell the story, but I'm going to. Like he tries to make it like he's sick, sick about it. And he tells the story about how he told the guy, we'll give you 30 minutes. If God comes and saves you, I won't do this. And he like laughs while telling the story. And he's like, you almost got me mad. Like, it's like, shut up, dude. Like, you love this shit. Like, he was a great actor, Kuklinski. He really was. Because his goal was, I want you to believe that I did this all for contracts. No, you did this because you wanted to do it. You fed people poison and cheeseburgers. Like, that's some sadistic shit. I don't believe that Mr. Center, and again, if there's any tinge of he's a reformed person, I guess that's the way they're taking it. If you actually believe that, you're crazy, Javar. You you are. Like, you, you just, you must believe that cell phones cause this and that. Like, come on, man. I'm serious. Then why isn't Testa getting let out, bro? Why isn't Lacasio got, why didn't he get let out? You're going to tell me because on a certain date? Come on, man. I mean, give me a break. Give me a break. Then how come they didn't let, you know, Salerno out? Salerno was convicted before then. He got 120 years. Why did he get parole? Because they fucking hated him. That's why. If you, I don't know why you're, Javar, trying to make, like, you're trying to stick up for, like, this guy. I mean, it's crazy. Hold on, guys. I'm getting some breaking news here. I need to talk about this. Hold on, boys. We got some breaking news that I've got to attend to here. Hold on a second. Hold on. I might have a bit of a... Uh, I may have something I need to look into. All right, I'll deal with it after. All right, never mind. Uh, something to do with uh, something I reported on uh, the uh, Philadelphia stuff. What's up, Mool? Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Nagone, what's going on? Thank you for watching as always. Uh, hey, Sean. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Call the creator names, block, block, block. Only way I see it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't. I think we're all adults, aren't we? No need for names. Uh, they have iPad like tablets and phones are regularly smuggled. Uh, yeah, we know that. We know that. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Jeff. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Miss McGinnis. Thank you so much. Uh, 640 people in here. What up? Thank you for watching. If you enjoy what you're seeing, please make sure you hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe or you haven't, make sure you please do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you'd like to donate, feel free to send in a super chat. Uh, and uh, you can also uh, cash at me. Uh, Don Vito Cachafero, good point. His original name was Sente. His family anglonized it. Good point. I, I'll, uh, I'm actually going to do a full show on Mr. Center. I think I'm going to do it on Saturday. 
So make sure you check that out. We'll talk more about that. I totally agree with you. I can't think of any other reason why they would decide to release him when he got such a gruesome crime on his rap sheet. A gruesome crime. Yeah, exactly. Do I think he'll have a podcast? No, I don't. Um, I don't think most people would recognize him if I saw him in Target or something and he said hi, I'd say hi back. I wouldn't be best friends or anything. Yeah, no one was going to recognize him. But wouldn't that be fascinating if, like, in where I live, there are a bunch of houses for sale. I go out, you know, to... I don't know, take a run. And I see the neighbor come out and some old guy. And I start talking to him. And he says, hey, how you doing? How you doing? My name's Anthony. Oh, hey, Anthony, how you doing? Where are you from? Oh, I'm from New York. Most people, let's just be honest. You go to Iowa or Nevada or Arizona or Alabama or anywhere other than like New York and Philadelphia, even where I live here, if I see a New York license plate in my neighborhood, I'm a little intrigued. Who is that exactly? Why are they here? And you see a guy like Center? What's your first going to think of? Hey, I'm Anthony. I'm from New York. What are you going to say? And I don't think he talks like that, but still. What's your first thought? Guys, I find this to be the most cringy thing about people where I live. Truthfully, I could wear, I wear a lot of like Lacoste sweatsuits, matching, uh, blue, black, gray, whatever. And I have this necklace, which I've had since I was a kid. And I've had people ask me that. It's the most cringy thing ever. No. Why? Because I wear, a sweat, it's just a sweatsuit. Like a lot of people have sweatsuits. Like most people have no idea about any of it. It's like, He's right. No one would recognize him, but it would be interesting if you found out who your neighbor was. What's up, Joe Thompson? How are you? I'm doing well, Liberty. How are you? Greg Rollo says, Testa was just misunderstood. Uh, our center. I don't know if you're talking about him. Yep, exactly. John Gotti. Do you think they cared that he had cancer? When John Gotti died, from what I understand, he was handcuffed and he was pronounced dead. And his son asked him, can you take the handcuffs off? And they wouldn't do it. Think about that. That's how much hate they had for the guy. He's dead. He's been dead. He's been pronounced. Take the fucking handcuffs off. What's he gonna go? What's he gonna decide to come alive and, and escape? I mean, like they hate the mafia. Like they hate them. This just makes no sense. Like, you're not gonna just say, hey, center, you've been a good boy the last 30 years, and you've been sweeping up and teaching inmates how to, you know, speak correctly or something. We're gonna let you out. And go let you live in America somewhere. And we're not going to ask for anything back? Oh, come on, man. What are we talking about here? 68, 68. That's true. Some people don't even get released. Samuel Little, who killed a lot of people, gave up a bunch of bodies. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, Nico, what's going on? Let's not try to take my ideas, Malty. No, I'm just kidding. He's killed more than five people. We know that. Uh, yes, absolutely. I'll tell you, though, couldn't it be interesting if he did come out with a podcast? Holy shit. I'd listen to every word. By the way, Mr. Center, if you want to speak to me, I'll come to wherever you are. We'll pay you. It'll be fine. That would be someone I would pay to have on. Do I think Tommy Karate will get out? No. Oh, he's another one. Maybe they'll let him out too. Like, what are we talking about here, guys? Again, the most damaging problem here is why is Testa not getting let out then? Or Borelli? What about them? They were all involved. 
why don't we just let Tommy Karate out too? Joe Thompson, ten dollars here to kick up. Thank you, Joe Thompson. Let's not pretend though. This is not a we're, we're not a mob family, Joe. Uh, thank you, thank you for that, bro. Appreciate you. You're a good man. Uh, do you think every defense attorney would now say, "But you guys released Anthony"? Sa yeah, it sets a bad precedent. Do you really think the government would do that? No, they're going to say, "Hey, something happened there." Love the content, Michael Gill. Thank you, Michael Gill. I appreciate that. Special K, how are you? How are you? I hope you're okay. Uh, always, always, always. Thank you for being here. You're always a good, good supporter on the channel. Well, nobody told Karate to kill that woman who gave his girlfriend drugs. Um, yeah, I mean, again, we can understand that, though. I don't know the parole board's reasoning on granting release, but here was convicted early eight. Yeah. I'm aware of this. I, I, I know this. Thank you, Javar. You've told us 40 times. Uh, we all know this. If, if you want to believe that, feel free. Th that's not what happened, but okay. Good luck. All right. What's up, Mickey Griggs? How you doing? Gotta watch out for Iceman's poison. Yeah, whatever happened to that guy? So what do you think? Why do you think he's getting out? Um, well, I I'll kind of pull it back all in here. Um, I I'll tell you this. Someone that gets life, then I'll just let him out of prison. It just doesn't happen. So take what you want from that. Um, but I think we have to we have to definitely wonder about it. They're getting they're going to let him out in order to do your show. Maybe. That'd be cool. Yeah, good point. White Boy Rick, he's another one. Served 30 plus years in prison for selling drugs. Guys, do me a favor. If anybody comes in here and calls people really horrible names, you're going to be removed. Don't that, that We don't do that in these chats. Stop. So if you come in here and talk about other creators, calling them very bad things, you're out. You're out of here. It's not going to happen here. You're being very, you being, you kind of being very emotional out of character. You not good with spelling and typing. Go back to English class, Paul. First time live, love the shows. What up, Jeff Buds? Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Mr. Manchester, what's going on, Mr. Manchester? I've not heard about that. Uh, Paulie V, what's up? Al Torres, thank you for watching, man. Joe Sonnenblock just tuned in. Cannot believe they're letting center out one of the absolute worst of the worst in terms of crew and hitmen. Yeah, 100%. Uh, thank you, man. DF, $10. Thank you, DF. What's going on? Thank you for being here today. Uh, somebody had to get paid off for him to get out. Uh, yeah, more of that. Bridget Basenberg. What's up, Bridget? How you doing? Yes, I'm aware. I've, I've talked about that. Drito 5K. Next thing you know, they're going to let Monk out. Monk out. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, even the Gotti crew was afraid of Center's crew. Yeah, absolutely. The guy who shot President Reagan got released after 35 years. Um, okay. But again, we have to look into his case. We don't know what happened there. No. How Sesta and Center only got convicted for 10 hits. There should be proof of participating in numerous more hits, I believe. I don't know, though. Sure. But you can't give people five lives. Give them one life. That's enough. Yeah, we've all debunked Kuklinski. I've done it for other channels. I've done it. I don't know, but that would be interesting if he did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. What's up, Frank? How you doing? 
John Alberga. Let's not speculate on Anthony's cooperation. Why? It's the truth. <laughs> you can't, you don't just get out of prison, dude. John, see if you kill someone. See if they'll just let you out randomly. Like, wh what world do we live in here? Like, guys, think about it. Like, it, it's crazy. I also didn't speculate anything. I just said it's the truth. When you get life, you get life. Frank Fiorellino, ask Frank. Frank, do you think that do you ask Frank? Do you think they just let people out? Frank will tell you. He'll tell you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, of course, because his last name is Gotti. Thank you, man. Thank you. What's up, Marty Klein? Five dollars. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Of course they are. Of course it is. Thank you, Neil. Matty R says, Jeff, fill us in on the Kelly Oubre situation. Um, he didn't get hit by a car. It's, it's not true. That's another story. Uh, what's up, Jeff? That You know what I've learned? You know what I've learned? Giving news to people, they don't want to hear it. They could be a fan of a team or maybe they're like mobsters and they don't want to hear them talked about badly. People don't want to hear news. That's why doing it is kind of a waste of time. What's up, Jeff? Thanks for popping on to the live, making my job site way better. This customer sucks more than most. Well, I hope you get done with it soon, my man. Thank you for being here. I hope I'm not on uh, speaker. <laughs> Kevin the Kid, $5. Thank you, Kevin. Says maybe Chad can give some insight, concurrent sentences maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. I'd, I'd like to hear him talk about that. Uh, do you think he will do an interview? Uh, I don't think, man. I don't think. What's up, Ono? He's in Bogota, Colombia. Jeff, did the people that actually killed Castellano, did they get killed all day still alive? Uh, no, the people that allegedly killed Castellano, some of them are still alive. Some of them died. You know, Vinny Artuso died. Uh, Sal Scala is dead. Eddie Lino was killed. Carneglia is still alive. He's the main shooter. He's still alive. Backup shooters, Joe Watts, he's still alive. Ruggiero, he died. Pazonia, he's still alive. But no, I mean, no one paid for that crime. Would I ever have Nate Boone Craft on my show? Uh, yeah, I'd love to speak to Boone. Uh, I would love to. He's a very interesting guy in Detroit. Frank, let me ask you, do you do you think it's easy to just get out on life? Do you think they just let people out? No, it's not that easy. Of course, it's it's actually unheard of. Thank you for watching, Tyler Williams. What's up, Slick? Nobody knows. He was a good boy. That's why. But hey, I'll salute to him. He's getting out. I wish him the best. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, federal court. Jeff, people want affirmation, not information. Good point. Good point. Uh, center was made. Yes. He's not German. He was definitely Italian. What's up, Randy? What's up, Rob? Thank you, Rob. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I've been reporting on that. 
How old is center? Uh, 68, 68. What's up, Shane? Thank you, Shane. I'm glad you enjoy them, man. He would know. See that? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? What's up, Slick? Thank you, brother. What's up, Matt? Okay. Fair enough, Joseph. <laughs> it's new. They let murderers out. No problem. Life is not life. It's actually uh, life, but eh, if you're good, you'll let you out. That doesn't work like that. But okay. Fair enough. Yes, there are a lot going on. Have a great day, man. I don't think you will, no. Uh, Rodney King says, the dude who slapped you in an Eagles game, was he a May guy? Why didn't you defend yourself? Okay, so I'm going to talk about this. I'm actually going to do a video about this in some way. It was not at an Eagles game, right? I've said that before. I've talked about this story when I was at Barstow. It was not at an Eagles game. I was in Philadelphia. I went to the Niners-Eagles game last year, NFC title game. Now, before I go to the games, I don't park on the premises. I park in South Philadelphia in the neighborhood I used to live in. A friend of mine lives on Jessup Street, which is very close to 11th and Oregon, then the 10th and Oregon. I walked down 10th Street. I parked on that street. I was coming home from the game. It was dark. We were going back to my car, and I ran into an individual. No, he was not a made guy. He is not a mobster. He is related to someone in that life. Him and I have known each other for years. He had just seen a video that I did. He didn't like it. And he, you know, took a took a crack at me. Why didn't I defend myself? Because honestly, I was just so blown away by it. And I was cool with the kid. I didn't want to hit him. That was it. Never said it was a made guy. Never said it was a mobster. In fact, Probably shouldn't even mention it ever happened because it's really no one's business. It was someone who I've known for years, got upset. I don't know if he had been drinking. That was that. I haven't talked to him since. It wasn't at an Eagles game. It wasn't a made guy. It wasn't anything like that. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. No, I don't. Thank you for watching, Joseph Ariola. I've never heard of that guy. No, I'm not a Niners fan, no. All right, guys, I am out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here today. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Grambino, Sonny Grasso, Aldo, Craig Tracy, Ali Shabar. I must have missed this. Thank you, my friend. Seven dollars Canadian. Uh, thank you for being here. I didn't. I didn't see that. My apologies. Vinny Boom Bots, twenty dollars. Thank you. Corruption Connection, Joe Thompson, DF, Marty Klein, Kevin the Kid. Uh, and to all of you that commented, a lot of great comments tonight. A lot of uh, good uh, opinions here. Um, I, uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Whitey Beamer. Appreciate it. Joe Root. Um, Gray Jedi. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Later.